Hey guys, Undead Media with my first weekly update. Uh, so I'm pretty much just going to be doing weekly updates instead of having to do a monthly. And then there's like over 150 titles and it just takes forever. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So this is the Friday the 13th box set. It's got all 12 movies. Um, it's pretty cool. Um, I love the packaging. Love obviously all the movies. And uh, yeah, it came really quick. I got it on Amazon. It was only 112 bucks. So it was honestly, it was a really good deal. So that's the main reason why I picked it up. Um, and it looks freaking great on the shelf. So <laughs> that's another plus. Um, my favorite probably is going to be, I mean, it so is everybody else's, but part of three where he gets his mask finally. So next up, we've got Candyman, which I already have the, uh, the Shout Factory version of it. And I know it's technically the same transfer, but this is just, the packaging is way better. Honestly, if I had got this one first before I got the, scream factory one i definitely would have just stuck with this one and i wouldn't have grabbed this one but you know it was worth it the packaging's great um it's got the reversible artwork it's also got uh it's got these booklets so that's one booklet um it's got a lot of information in there about the transfer la -da 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 -da. you know if you've gotten arrow limited editions before you you know what it comes with next up is the hellraiser box set um this one's cool it's a region b um honestly i was just pretty happy to get this one um, got this one for $30 on orbit DVD it was on sale so if you have a region free blu-ray player you should probably go pick that one up it's got Hellraiser 1 which is pretty good um, I I enjoy it next up is Hellraiser 2 which I also enjoy there's a couple scenes in there where uh, it shows kind of like this labyrinth and it's all hand painted I mean I know it obviously isn't real but it looks looks good to me I like the way it looks and last is Hellraiser 3 Hell on Earth. I actually haven't seen this one, so this is going to be a first time watch sometime in the near future. I've uh, got a lot of movies to watch, got a lot of movies on my list, so we'll see how long it takes me to get to this one. Next up is The Fun House. So this just released this past week. Um, I couldn't find it on my local Best Buy because everybody's going to buy all my Blu-rays. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, I mean, it looks great. Um, almost finished watching it i just you know i ended up passing out at the end of the movie so i gotta pop it back in and finish it up but yeah i i enjoyed it all the way up until the end so far so pretty good movie next up is the thing so this is my favorite 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 carpenter movie uh, as of right now it changes you know every once in a while as your taste will but yeah this hands down is my favorite this is probably my third version i have of this movie Next up is E.T. on VHS. So this next kind of batch of VHSs is from the thrift store. So I went and I was able to find quite a few cool movies at the thrift store. Also, I made an order online for like, I think it was 15 or $20. And I got like eight uh, VHS tapes for, for yeah, 15 or 20 bucks. So it was a good deal. Uh, this is Close Encounters of the Third Kind. Next up is... Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 The Secret of the Use. I actually don't remember if I've completely watched through this. I remember it was on TV a lot and kind of watched parts of it here and there but I know I've seen the first one too many times let's just say that. Next up is Psycho 3. So I have this one on Blu-ray already um, but I, you know, I like the packaging it looks cool on VHS to have right there on the shelf so also it uh, you know, it's, it's a good, it's a decent movie obviously not psycho one but next up we've got halloween my second favorite john carpenter movie as of right now of course it changes usually halloween and the thing are kind of interchangeable next up is the ring i also got this on orbit dvd to kind of get that three free shipping kind of deal that they have going on all the time so yeah slap this in there looks cool i like the clear case also the ring point of the movie is a vhs so Next up is The Thing again, my favorite freaking horror movie ever. It's the best. It's a combination of ev the best combination of everything. Horror, sci-fi, it's just you I can't stop watching this movie. I love this movie. Next up is Psycho, the first one. I have this one on 4K and I have it on Blu-ray. Um I I love this movie. I mean, if you don't like this movie and you're a horror fan, you know, I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Next up, we've got The Frightener. So this actually came in that lot that I bought online. Um, I don't really know anything about it. I've never seen it. So looking forward to kind of hopping into that one and checking that one out. 
Next up is Seven Samurai. I have not seen this yet. This was actually a gift. So looking forward to popping this one in there. Um, it's got an extremely long runtime, so I got to have like at least three hours, three and a half hours, I think. So extremely long, but looks cool. So can't wait to give it a try. Next up, we've got The Bye Bye Man. I actually watched this in theaters when it came out. Was it a good movie? It was okay, uh, but it was at the thrift store for a couple bucks. I figured why pick it up, and why not pick it up, sorry, and throw it in the collection because I don't have it yet. Next up is Jurassic World, another one I found at the thrift that had the slip and, uh, you know, kind of hard to pass up a Blu-ray with a slip nowadays. <laughs> not that they're hard to come by, but, you know, if I can get it for a good deal, it's a good movie with the slip, I'll just pick it up either way. Even if I already have it, I can always get rid of my duplicate Blu-rays. Next up is Spider-Man Far From Home. I actually don't even have any of the Spider-Man movies yet. So this one was a good idea to pick up. I just finally wanted to watch one, so got it. This one is Henry, Portrait of a Serial Killer. Me and my girlfriend actually watched this a couple nights ago, and yeah, it's a, it's a really good movie. Obviously, it was a made-for-TV movie, and you know, but the quality is not amazing, but for the 4K transfer, it looks as best that it's ever going to look. And yeah, I mean, it's a it's a pretty rough movie. A lot of uh, I mean, it's, it's honestly pretty scary. It's actually a pretty scary movie. It's pretty cool. It comes with uh, reversible artwork. This is artwork, obviously, that was commissioned. It's pretty cool. Or at least I think it was commissioned. It looks cool, though. Uh, this is a booklet that comes inside. A lot of information in the booklet just about the restoration and all that. And it actually comes with a, another booklet, and it's this one here. This one, I think, is actually the one that has all the information about their... Or they have a lot of information in both booklets. It's actually pretty cool. One of them, I think... No, no, I think this one has, like, all the storyboards and all that. Looking through it, it's actually pretty cool. The storyboards are actually so close to the movie. It's pretty cool. It's a good pickup if you don't have it already. Next up is Donnie Darko. So I actually got this as a lot, too, with a lot of the Aero Giallo films. Um, limited editions. I got this online for a hundred bucks, along with Cat of Nine Tails. Uh, what else? Oh, Bird with the Crystal Plumage, and yeah, I think that was it actually. Oh, and Tenebrae. There you go. Yeah, so I got that all as a lot. So this is uh, this one is Donnie Darko, obviously, and uh, have not seen this one, but a lot of people, you know, I've seen mixed things about it, but people say it's good, people say it's okay. So I thought I'd just give it a shot, anyways. Came in the lot, it was a steal. So and it comes with this really cool little booklet that's actually like a bound book. So I like that one. And this is the Cat at Nine Tails, also from that lot. This one's pretty cool. I actually have seen some scenes from this movie, and I. I thought they were pretty cool too, so. Love the uh, the original artwork here. It's pretty cool. Obviously, I wouldn't know what that says if it wasn't for the regular box, but. <laughs> yeah, it's a pretty cool pickup. Pretty excited that I got such a good deal on all of these. This is the little booklet that it comes with. Kind of a blank booklet, but at least the artwork, you know? I think they could have done some cool artwork instead of slapping a scene on there, but. I've actually seen a couple scenes from this. They're pretty good, so. Here's Bird with the Crystal Plumage. I like the artwork a lot from this. I actually couldn't even tell that it was a <laughs> that it was a bird <laughs> for the longest time. I thought it was like a squid or like an alien or something until I saw the beak. Um, I don't know what my eyes were doing. I just was not looking at the beak. I was looking at the spikes. That's where I was focused. But uh, anyways, yeah, this is a reversible artwork that it comes with. And this one also comes with a booklet. Again, you know, I think they could have done some actual artwork on there instead of pulling a scene from the movie, but it's still a super nice set. Also comes with a poster. All these limited editions come with a poster, but couldn't really open them all up and have them up just to show. It's, it's all the same artwork. So here's Tenebrae, Synapse. My first Synapse release that I have. Really like the, the packaging, how it doesn't have the little bridge at the top that says 4K. I mean, it's on the box, you know it's 4K. You don't, you know. So I, I really like the fact that they did that. Never had a Synapse Films release before, but I really, really, really like it. Love the packaging. I love the case. It's nice and sturdy. This is the reversible artwork. Really love this reversible artwork. Looks really cool. And this is the booklet that it comes with. So it's again just that same reversible artwork. Pretty cool. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Uh, follow me on Instagram at undead period underscore period media 
Um, I pretty much post all my new finds and all that stuff on there. So just go ahead and follow me there. And don't forget to subscribe. Thanks.